That's nice. Gotta go. In 1993, Steven Spielberg and a band of special effects wizards made us believe that dinosaurs existed again. Number 23 on our top 100 list of all time is Jurassic Park. <laughs> Being right all the time. I was terrified when I saw this movie in the theater. I was literally you know, quaking in my boots because I, I had no idea what to expect. Easy, I, no, easy. I do scare easy, but this was another thing entirely. I was like, oh my God. You try to think back to a time before we lived in this era where special effects are all over everything. They're all over TV, they're all over commercials. Even the slightest commercial these days has a special effect in it. Yep. But back in 1993, that wasn't the case at all. Special effects were incredibly difficult to pull off. They were incredibly expensive to do. But Spielberg said, I'm gonna make these dinosaurs come to life. And you know what? Damn it, he did. Yeah, but it was... And these things were actually real. Well, and he was smart enough to understand to use all kinds of different ways to achieve that effect. It wasn't just all 100% reliant on CG. No. They built full-scale models of T-Rex heads and animatronic pieces. Even the shark from Jaws is, no, I'm just kidding. No, he, he, very, very smart, though, very shrewd. It's like this was a culmination of every one of his creature feature type flicks, like his Close Encounters world, his Jaws world. All of that knowledge and wisdom and expertise and data he had collected over his career, he put into the first Jurassic Park. Now, the sequels were decent, but the first first one was profound. It was out of nowhere, like, holy crap, change the world kind of filmmaking. It was the amusement park gone wrong yes. kind of vibe that I love the most about this. And I like the fact that he's really coy with the dinosaurs in the first half of the movie. I mean, you don't see that much. I mean, it's kind of like Jaws in that sense. Yep. He really is good at just showing, you know, trees and ferns rustling and things like that. Until we do. Until we do Until see we these do. things. Until we do, yeah. And then you can't unsee them. This guy's a master, and this is one of those movies that really highlights it. It's a real punch. It could have just been schlock, but this is definitive stuff. This stuff is some of the best monster movie making ever achieved. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not be contained. Life breaks free, it expands to new territories, and it crashes through barriers painfully, maybe even dangerously, but, uh, oh, there it is. Well, you have used the word treasure to describe people before. Yeah. Steven Spielberg really is He's a, a treasure. treasure. Now, of course, we have featured Jurassic Park on the show before. Here's a look. Revisiting it now, it's incredible to see how the effects actually stand up because mm -hmm. that's your biggest concern when you're watching a movie that's so heavy with the visual effects from 1993 to now is like, is going to look kind of hokey? But because they relied so much on Stan Winston and on practical effects, the dinosaurs look really good. They're and really scary. <laughs> Which leads me to my next point, which is the special features. The special features are incredible. They have all the archival featurettes of the original DVD releases. Plus, they've created like this new series of mini documentaries that go through all the stages of development in each film. So in this first Blu-ray of Jurassic Park, they have three mini docs that go through the different aspects of development and production, one of which is how they made the dinosaurs sound. Because we don't know how dinosaurs sounded. We can only guesstimate mm -hmm. what they might have sounded like. They had the sound effects person explaining how he would take the sounds of different animals and put them together. And use the walrus for the low frequency and the boy dolphin for the high frequency and that became the attack scream of the raptor. <laughs> It did come out a long time ago, and it definitely brings back memories, but it really stands the test of time, and I think it's a highly collectible Blu-ray. I think as the first film in the franchise, it's hard to beat this. I feel like this is a film that has it all. So, Joe, what are you going to give the mighty dinosaurs of Jurassic Park? I'll give it a nine. Me too. It's a nine, for sure. Congratulations, number 23 on our top 100 list is Jurassic Park. Ah. Have a girl.